Hello, seventh graders. I want to take this video just to kind of give you a short heads up into how you're going to create the code in 2.7.6 called Vacation Guides. Okay, you're going to take the code that you did in the last lesson and just create a travel guide. Okay, you're going to have the name of the country. I had states for mine. I don't know that it will matter. A link to the travel guide. When do you want to go there? And how long do you want to spend there? Okay, so each of the country needs to be numbered and have an H2. Each country will have a nested unordered list of three bullet points. And you're going to have a link to its spot in this travel guide. The month where, when you want to visit and how long you will stay. You're going to have at least five items, which means which means that you are going to have five different places you want to go on your list. The list should have a large title explaining what is in the list, my travel guide. So your page might look something like this. All right. So let's take a peek at where we're at. So I'm going to go ahead and clear what I did earlier in class today. I'm going to reset it. All right. So here we go. So to get started, we're going to go up here to line four. We have to add a title to our page. Now remember, or a title of our page, this title shows up in the head of our page, which means the title is going to be up here in the browser tab. So um, what did it tell me to use? Let's go to exercise, something like vacation guide or something like that. So let's try vacation guides right here, vacation guides. So remember now, when that is run, you don't see it show up on the page. It's not showing up here, showing up on your browser tab. All right. Now, what happens here is in the body. Now, it did say that I'm using the code from Dream Destination. So I'm going to go back to this one. I am going to take this code and copy it. All right, so let's go over here to here. I'm going to switch it up just a little bit. Please don't freeze up on me. Here it goes. All right, so I'm going to go down here in the body, and I'm going to paste that in. All right, so now I have my title at the top of my page. Now I'm going to start an ordered list, but it did also say that in front of your each of your destinations, you're also going to have an H2. So I'm going to have an H2 and then an ending H2. Okay, but underneath Florida now, I am going to have an unordered list, but I can't have this information. So the first thing that's going to be in my unordered list, so I have, so I have Florida as an H2, also as a list item. Now, underneath Florida, I'm going to start an unordered list. And underneath that, I'm going to have a list item. I'm going to tab that. So let me tab in. There it goes. So list item. Okay, and I need to have a Florida, Florida guide. But I'm not going to type it yet. This is where I've had a lot of kids asking me for help. Okay, with this Florida guide, I'm going to use gives me a link to World Travel Guide. So I got to use this website. Not done yet though. Once I get here, now where would y'all like, where would I like to go? So I'm going to go to, come on, Florida and search. Still not quite done. Now I'm going to open this up. Here's my travel guide. So I'm going to take this address. I'm going to copy it. So right here for my travel guide, I'm going to start an A. So I have my list item. Now I'm going to start bracket A space HREF. I need to reference a hyperlink equals quotations. Now I have that address. So that long travel guide address for Florida. Now after that, then I'm going to put an ending bracket. And then notice it gives me my A right away, but before my ending A for my ending hyperlink 
um, my, my link for the Florida guide. But right here now, I have to type the text of what I want to show up. So I'm going to type in Florida guide. All right, Florida guide. All right, then I have my ending for my link and my ending for my list item. So now I'm to my next item. My next list item said, how long would you want to go? I think one week in Florida. You can see, I'll see and do a lot of different things and enjoy the warm weather. And then when would I would like to go? Oh, I want to say January. Oops, sorry, I need a list item, L-I. January, can I spell today, Weidenbach, to February. All right, I have my ending list item. Now I have my ending of my unordered list. I'm going to get rid of this junk here. All right, so I have the ending. So let's just submit this now. Let's see how this looks so far. So let's run the code here. I'm going to run the code. Please be nice to me. Run the code. All right, so here we go. So I have the title at the top. I have Florida in an H2. I have a link to the Florida guide. Then I have how long I want to spend and when I want to go. Okay, and this actually takes me to the Florida guide. I hope. Yep, there it is. All right. So I'm ready to keep moving. All right, so next one. So now I'm down here to Caribbean cruise. I don't know if it's gonna let me do a cruise. So let's see. We'll just do California next. So we'll do California. Let's just do a country. Let's go to Ireland, like they showed us. Let's go to Ireland. All right, so that's my list item. That also has to be in an H2. Take this ending H2 right here and put it back here. Okay, so I have a list item. I have an H2. Now I'm going to indent in. I need a list item. Or no, sorry. I need a UL. So I'm going to put this stuff about Ireland in an unordered list. Now I need an LI. Okay, and I'm going to have that guide to uh, Ireland. So I'm going to have an href equals quotes. I'm going to go up here to this guide. Now I wonder how I search another one. Let's go back up here to search. Let me do Ireland and search. Okay, um, I just want regular Ireland. So once I do that, here is my, here is my address, command C, back to my code. So now I have a list item. I have a bracket A space H ref, which will link me to this address. Now after the quotations, I'm gonna put an ending bracket and then right before the ending A bracket, I'm gonna put Ireland guide. Okay, so Ireland guide, I have my ending A and I have my ending list item. All right, when would I like to go? I've Actually, we, my husband and I went a couple years ago. We went in the summer. So I'm just going to say the summer. So I'm going to put this item. I'm going to put um, June, uh, maybe July. July. And I think spending, oh, uh, let's see, a list item, a week to 10 days to see everything I want to see. Okay, then I have the end of my unordered list, okay, before I'm ready to move on to my next. So let's submit what we've done so far. I know I'm not done, but let's run the code of what we're going to have. So I have my dream vacations, so I'm just ready to move on to California. So you're going to keep going for the five items that you had in that previous lesson. And that is how you will add um, ordered list, how you're going to have an unordered list within an ordered list, how you're going to add hyperlinks, just a review of that. So a lot of good review of a lot of different information in this lesson.